Hello everybody, welcome back to B10X. I am Narendra and today we have an exciting topic for you how to automate Excel using ChatGPT. But before we dive in, I have got something special for you. B10X is hosting an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. We'll talk more about it in the later part of the video. All right. Let's get back to our main topic. Nine rupees. Nine rupees cannot even buy you a packet of chips. But what if I tell you nine rupees can save your job? What if I tell you nine rupees can get you salary hike? What if I tell you nine rupees can build your career in better way? Sounds too good to be true, right? So in this video, we have total four examples to demonstrate how we can automate Excel using chart GPT. So let's see example one. In this example, we are having this data, which contains product IDs, categories, subcategories, and product names. What we are going to do is we are going to calculate the number of categories present in category column. So for that, I'm going to give this instruction to chart GPT. I'm just going to copy this instruction and paste it in chart GPT. As you can see, we have got this formula. I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. As you can see, we got output as three. We can cross check this thing. As you can see, here we are having three categories, furniture, office supplies, and technology. Now let's see example two. For this example, we are having balance sheet. So in this thing, we are having total assets and total liabilities and shareholders equity. What I want to do is I want to check if these two values are same or not. If both the values are same, I need output as OK. If both the values are not same, I need output as error. So for that, I'm just going to copy this instruction and paste it in chart GPT. And I'm going to copy the first formula. And I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to drag this thing. So here you can see these two values are not same. That's why we got error. But here you can see both the values are same. We got OK. Before going to example three, let's talk about the impact of AI on our world. In recent times, we have witnessed rapid advancements and AI has become an integral part of various industries. However, it's also true that many jobs are being replaced. But here's a catch. AI won't replace you. The person using AI effectively will stay ahead. To help you not only keep your job but excel in your career, we have something special for you. Our exclusive workshop Microsoft Office using AI tools is designed to upskill you, boost productivity and make you indispensable in your field. Now you might be wondering how you can stay ahead of the curve and make sure AI works for you. It's simple. Join our workshop where we'll guide you through the best AI tools 
show you how to integrate them with Microsoft tools and help you secure your future. Click the link in the description below to enroll in our workshop now. Let's see example 3. For this example, we are having employee data which contains education column, joining year, CT column, all these things. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a drop down here of CT, CT column. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this instruction and paste it in chat GPT. As you can see, we have got these instructions which we need to follow. First of all, we have to select the cell where we want to create the drop down list. And then we have to go to data tab in the ribbon. We have to click on data validation. After that, in the data validation dialog box, we have to go to settings tab. Then in that allow drop down, we have to select list. In the source field, we have to enter this value. So I'm just going to copy the value and then we have to click OK. So I want to create drop down list here. I'm going to data tab. Here I'm clicking on data validation. So I'm going to select list here. Then here I'm going to enter the value D3 to D4655. And then I'm going to click OK. Here you can see the drop down list Bangalore, Pune, New Delhi. At the last, we are going to see example 4 so before going to example 4 i would like to tell you about what is macro a macro is an action or a set of actions that we can run as many times as we want when creating a macro we are recording our mouse clicks and keystrokes so for example if we have tasks in microsoft excel that we do repeatedly we can record a macro to automate those tasks that's what we are going to do so we are going to calculate the weekly total weekly average and highest day and we are going to highlight cells c16 c18 and C20 in yellow. So I'm going to give this instruction to chat GPT. So before that, we have to save this file in different format. So click on save as. Here you can see dot .xlsx format it is in. So we have to select macro enabled workbook format then i'm going to click on save now i'm going to paste the instructions in chart gpt let me copy this again I'm going to copy this code here from here by clicking copy code. So I'm going to paste this code in the Excel where we have to paste. So don't worry to paste the code. If you are on Windows, you have to enter Alt F11 or if you are on Mac, you have to enter function key 
along with option F11. So here on insert, click on module. Here you are going to paste the code which you copied from ChatGPT. Then I am going to close this thing and click on save. After that I am going to close this thing. To run the macro, if you are on Windows, you have to enter Alt F8. If you are on Mac, you have to enter Function, Option, then F8. Then we are going to click on run. As you can see, we have got output and in and with and this one is highlighted in yellow color also. As you can see. And there you have it. A glimpse into the world of automating Excel with ChatGPT. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any questions, share it with your peers and subscribe for more informative content. Also make sure to check out the link in the description for our exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. Secure your future by upskilling with us. We'll see you there. Thank you for watching and until next time stay productive.